It was guys about too much on this call me. And yeah, so I'm back. <laughs> Finally uploading something in this channel. But um uh, yeah, um so on this channel, you know, um I review physical stuffs. Whatever I buy, you know, I'm like, oh, this is actually pretty good. And then I, you know, you go, you go to YouTube. It's like, oh, no one's really talking about this. But um, yeah, let's let me let me let me talk about this shit. So yeah, the past videos I've made, uh, they were all audio hi-fi equipment. But this time, this is three T-shirts. Now they're not just regular T-shirt, cotton synthetic. These are actually wool T-shirts, merino wool. Now, wool acts very different from cotton and synthetic. Uh, for one, wool is antimicrobial. I'm not sure if I pronounced that right, but um, <laughs> I'm not going to try again. But uh, yeah, so that means when you sweat on the shirt, it doesn't smell. For me, this was the selling point for buying these shirts or just merino wool overall. Because as the summer gets hotter, you know, I've been noticing that I've been sweating a lot. And also that means I've been noticing my odor a lot. So, you know, I've been, you know, tired of it, and I was like, you know what, at least whenever I'm doing activities or when I'm traveling, I gotta buy a specific shirt for that. Uh, so yeah, here's my impressions of it. So the red and green shirt is the Tech Light 2 shirt, and the black one is the Zone Knit shirt. Uh, the difference between these two is that the Zone Knit is more breathable, you know, like, it's more for, like, runners, you know, more for, like, you know, people doing active stuffs. While the Tech Light 2 shirt is more just like an all-in-one, you know, it's like it's for casual or active use, you know. So yeah, um, all of these shirts, now I haven't wore each of these shirts for like seven days straight, but I have used them multiple times, um, without even washing them. I haven't washed any of these shirts yet. Alright, so this is future me editing this video. Now, when I was recording this for the audio and video, um, the shirts were dirty. But something happened to my video, and it, it got corrupt, so I had to re-record again. And now the shirts are clean, so, um, yeah, if you if I say, look at this dirty shirt, yeah, you guys can't actually see it, because, you know, these are already washed. So, uh, yeah. Like, you could, as you can see, the red shirt, you know, like, I was in the barbecue, and the grease of the meat spilled on my shirt. And, you know, I haven't washed it because, you know, I was testing it, right? Not because I'm lazy, but, uh, yeah, I'm because I'm lazy. <laughs> So each of these shirts tops, I've wore them for like at least two days straight, uh, specifically the red and the green one, you know, when I was visiting New York. And sometimes there's situations, you know, I, I couldn't really use a shower. So, you know, I, I just didn't shower. But I got to say, they didn't smell. So all of these shirts has not smelled like right now. I, I'm looking at them right now. I, I, I smelled them and they, they don't smell. Um, the green shirt, I, I was on the beach with them. At that same day, I could smell the ocean. Like, oh yeah, I was obviously in the beach. But in the second day, you know, oh, I, I can smell it, but it wasn't as strong in the first day. But at the third day, it was gone. So I couldn't smell the beach, and I couldn't smell my own sweat. So these are legit. Uh, now with the red shirt, uh, you know, I visited my families again in New York uh, in the weekends. And um, they were doing barbecue. Now, um, it wasn't this simple, oh, we'll put it in this uh, barbecue pit, this regular barbecue pit. No, they, they, they made a campfire to make charcoal from the wood. And I was right next to it. Uh, you know, there was a maca there, so you know, my lazy ass was like, oh, this is comfortable. Oh, I'm never leaving. <laughs> it, was like, it was right next to the pit. I, I'm, I'm probably choking myself with the smoke, but I was like, nah, I'm too comfortable. <laughs> I kind of moved it. Don't worry. I wasn't a dumbass like that. But um, yeah, I was right next to it. And yeah, at the same day, again, I could smell the, the, the smoke. But at the second day, yeah, you could smell a little bit, but the third day, it was gone. The same thing. Now with the black shirt, um, I actually didn't really use it that much, you know. Uh, I used it more when I was walking with my dog. But yeah, same thing. But except, whenever I sweat on it, it doesn't smell. Like, it, like the sweat or the smell does not stay at all. Like, it maybe other things like maybe if you're in a beach or in a campfire you know the smell stays on there but like it, it stays there for like a few days and it's gone and this is me without washing them this is amazing guys like I, I, I'm still amazed on how you know this is just like it's odorless you know or it just goes away after a few days without washing them so yeah so far with my experience because I'm, I'm probably gonna do a review after maybe like a year you know like you know this is me 
using them for like one month. But yeah, in, in one month, it's I, I, I've been amazed by it. And I loved it so much. Like, damn, man. Like, you know, I was like, you know what? I want to buy these specific shirts whenever I'm doing active stuff. But it's like, no, I want to buy... <laughs> I want to I want to transition <laughs> like fuck cotton and synthetic man like uh, it's it's been hot uh, w the place where I'm editing my videos is really hot during the summers all right like I'm sweating all my shirts like sometimes I got to do shirtless because I'm sweating in this room I don't have space for AC and even if I do have AC it's it has to be off when I'm recording all right now that's all the praise I can give it right now so let's talk about some criticism so um yeah this shirt is merino wool they say it's tougher than cotton, but with my low experience with maroon and wool, it feels very delicate. The like the, 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 the fabric it's very soft, man. It is very soft. And because it feels soft, I assume oh it's very delicate. Like, you know, merino wool, it's not as itchy as wool. You know, like yeah, at the beginning you do feel itchy, but you do get used to it. And, you know, the, the, the itchiness does reduce, but you still feel a little itchy. So whenever I scratch myself, you know, like, w with how soft this shirt feels, like, it's like, oh, shit, no, I, I can't scratch myself. I I'm going to ruin the shirt. And that's something you don't want to hear when you spend on a $50 shirt. This this shirt is expensive, all right? It's $50. I, I bought it on sale, all right? It, it could be more expensive. But, like, you don't want to hear that. It's like, yo, I spent $50 on this shirt. This better be tougher than Teflon. This better be tougher than carbon fiber, all right? So, that's the one thing. Like, merino wool is potentially very delicate. So, that's something very annoying. Second criticism about the shirt. Well, I can only say about the Tech Light shirt. I haven't had that much experience with the Zone Knit. But, with this shirt, it has, like, wind resistance. So there were so many times where, you know, I'm walking my dog or I'm just walking and, you know, I'm just like, damn, it is fucking hot outside. And then, you know, I could feel the breeze coming in. I'm like, oh, this is going to be a good one. I can I can feel the temperature. It's so cold. It's going to it's going to get hit me so nice. But then when it comes in, I can only feel it in my arms and my face. I can't feel it in my body, my torso. I like I'm like, what? I, I, I don't feel nothing it, like the, the, the cool breeze is not going through the shirt. I, I can't feel it, you know, so, uh, yeah, it's, like, I, I don't know, like, uh, it's, I guess the shirt is not as breathable, um, you know, like, it's, it's very good at a waking sweat, but, you know, it, it, like, I guess, you know, it's, it's, it's not breathable. Now, the shirt is light, and, you know, I, I don't get hot on the shirt, but, like, the wind didn't go through me. Like I don't know. Like I'm, I'm kind of, I'm kind of just a question mark in my head right now. I'm like, why, why didn't this happen? <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I guess you know the shirt isn't that breathable. Now another criticism. Now this isn't about Myrna wool, but it's more like about you know uh, icebreaker, I guess. Uh, so I, the beginning, I bought the green one on a medium, and it was just you know slightly too tight. You know, like I just wanted a little bit more space. So. When I bought the large for the green one, I also bought the red one. And I was like, oh, I might as well just buy another shirt too. So um, I got both of them. The green large one I bought the same time with the red one, it was more larger than the red shirt. The red shirt, the red large shirt I bought, uh, it fit. It fitted great. You know, it was like, oh, this is a nice fit. But like the green one, it was just like just slightly too big it's like why is the green one bigger than the red one they're supposed to be the same they're supposed to be tech like shirts now i have a picture of the two together and you see like the green is longer than the red you know it's like what the only difference between the two is just the red one is simple it doesn't have a graphics art the green one does uh but yeah you know what what i'm saying is if you're gonna buy an icebreaker shirt be prepared to buy two of the same ones to check the size, you know, like I, I f like, you know, my, my sizing, I'm always, you know, between a large and a medium. So, you know, th this is me all the time, but like, you know, I, I don't know, like there was a huge difference between, you know, the large for the green and the large for the red, even though they're supposed to be the same. So I, yeah, but yeah, overall, these shirts are great. Like if you want a shirt where, you know, oh, I don't want to smell my sweat in these shirts get this shirt or just get a shirt that is merino wool so yeah the these are legit um oh yeah i, I forgot to mention yeah um i also got boxers you know i got these underwears 
They're also from Icebreaker 2. They're called the uh, Anto- Anatomic uh, Boxer. And these are Marine Wool too. And the same thing, you know, like these are great. They they don't smell. So, you know, like um, yeah, I wear them for one weekend in New York. And yeah, like usually, you know, I'm sweaty or musty. <laughs> but with this underwear, I didn't feel none of that. You know, it, it, it you know, the sweat <laughs> don't exist that long. And I don't smell. Again, again, this is... These, this is amazing fabric. You know, I'm like, man, I, I might just transition to getting Merino shirts. But probably not because, you know, <laughs> Merino shirts are expensive. Like, damn, th- these these shirts were expensive, all right? I got three of them all together, probably around, I don't know, more than 150 <laughs> So, uh, yeah, that's all I got to say. You know, great shirts, but the fabric overall, they're amazing, right? So, um... Yeah, that's all I'm going to say. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like, comment, subscribe, follow Twitch, Twitter, Twitch, and Twitter. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. And so there, bye.